Well, firstly, I'd like to thank Professor Katina Michael um, for extending an invitation for me to attend asynchronously the event which is happening there in Washington, D.C., uh, and also our co convener, uh, Dr. Roba Abbas. Well, I'm presenting here today from Perth, Western Australia, which happens to be one of the most uh, isolated geographical cities in the world. Um, my name is Alexander Hayes. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Wollongong uh, with co-supervision in Aalto University in Finland. Um, I was looking at, through my uh, research investigation, body-worn cameras, uh, which are uh, seemingly pervasively appearing in all spaces across our society. And across the 10 stakeholder group, um, this new and emergent um, technology and its onset of AI as a mechanism through which many of those stakeholders account and state that this particular phenomena is a disembodied profile for humanity. Meaning that the officers and those that are wearing those cameras and those feedback systems and feedback loops are in fact taking away the discretionary um, aspects of the humanity uh, which they would otherwise afford uh, those individuals that are within their gaze. So my research study, which extended over an eight year period, uh, looked at all of the socio-ethical implications and, and also some of the societal impacts that those technologies are having across a whole range of different industry stakeholder sets. And um, a surprising outcome, really, in, in actual fact, um, that of the considerations for where if artificial intelligence and the automation of this data uh, provides for the expediency of service. How does a body-worn camera, which is located within the central apex of the chest or behind the ear of the officer, how does that resolve, or in fact, does it resolve any of the social determinants of crime, being poverty and trauma? What I've heard and what my uh, thesis uh, outlines um, over 170,000 words is across those stakeholders that the predominant opinion is that there is um, many grave concerns around the big one, privacy. Now if we drill down a bit on the AI side in terms of the auditability of that, if we drill into that data and we look at people who have been stripped down by roadside, who have um, been subjected to the camera without any asking or um, um, permission or consent, is that, that, is that not film taking? And is that not, um, in actual fact, an extension of the larger CCTV network? So in terms of a mobile CCTV um, context, AI serves perhaps not as an intelligence. Perhaps in actual fact it may be its artificiality of its intelligence, but it's not doing anything to solve those social determinants of those aspects that people are suffering. But also perhaps that these mobile CCTV cameras which are attached to people now walking amongst them are perhaps maybe one step closer to urban violence. And that's the totality of all states of violence. That's when all of these violences come together. And we know of data violence, we know of surveillance, and we know of surveillance. So what we have now is humans who have become the camera. Thank you. My presentation is available online and I look forward to your feedback as soon as possible. Thank you.